So let's get this straight. Buying expensive clothes, watches, food, and the like doesn't make you cool. You're either cool or you're not. But some cool people also happen to have lots of the bling bling. And if I was one of those folks, this is the kind of amazingly cool stuff I would spend my rich people money on. Welcome to my video of the Z-Board San Francisco Special, their fastest, longest range, longest lasting Z-Board yet. With its power loss protection, affordability, and performance, the SP920 from A-Data makes upgrading to an SSD remarkably safe and simple. This unboxing was actually the most fun I've had opening a product in a long time. It actually has the strongest new product smell that I think I've ever encountered outside of like a car. And when I first discovered it has headlights, I was like, oh my God, it has headlights. I think the only person who had more fun opening this product than me is my cat. Everything about it is crazy beefy. The international compatible charger has an integrated cooling fan in the all metal housing to go along with its LED charge indicator. And the board itself is not light at 28 pounds. The top is a six layer maple deck with a super grippy printed surface layer over top. Embedded in the deck are the cushioned handle and the very straightforward control pads. Push softly on the front to go slow, push hard to go fast, and then push on the back one to use the board's regenerative braking or to go backwards a little bit. On the bottom, we find the grippy, smooth wheels that can be rotated for more even wear and then replaced from the spare parts store, which includes most of the easily worn out stuff at a reasonable price. The battery and electronics housing that includes the front and rear mounted LEDs, the charging port and power switch, and finally, the motor that powers the drive wheel. Overall, Touching it in person versus watching videos of it makes it feel a lot less like a toy and more like a serious form of transportation. And on that note, the manual is pretty serious business too. You need to sign a waiver to activate your six month warranty. It gives a big old list of gear to wear when riding and there's a detailed pre-flight checklist before they want you to even turn it on for the first time. But once you do, wow. This thing is amazing. Some things in life just put a smile on your face no matter what kind of a mood you're in, and I've got another entry for the list. It is a little tricky the first time, even after you've memorized the acceleration stance and braking stance, and new riders will probably find themselves standing a bit stiffly instead of maintaining a more relaxed posture. But what's great about this is that because of the way the controls are set up, until you loosen up and get more confident shifting your weight around, it's actually really hard to do anything dangerous. But this uncomfortable phase doesn't last for long. As someone whose only board sport experience is on a snowboard and who has never once successfully moved more than 10 feet on a skateboard, I really wanted to review this, but I was worried about even being able to do it. Not an issue. On my first charge, I spent most of my time figuring out how to loosen up a little bit. I went slowly up and down my street, experimented with leaning to find the minimum turning radius, and that was about it. On my second full battery charge, I was able to move around my neighborhood. On my third ride, I was able to carve a little bit and maintain full speed on straightaways. And then around my fourth or fifth ride, I was able to carve more comfortably and corner without easing off the accelerator. Very fast learning curve. And now it's just way too much fun. It's been hard for me to get off this thing since I started riding it. Half of the enjoyment has been zipping around, pushing the limits of the Z-board in new ways. Uh, so far I've off-roaded on grass for short distances, played around with finding the best ways to go up and down curbs, crossed gravel, and gone way too fast up hills attracting stairs from onlookers. And the other half of the enjoyment is that last thing. The Z-board is way too much fun to show off. I don't think I've ever had so many people stop me to ask me about a new gadget or do the classic drive past and stare. Once you get used to it, I wouldn't call it relaxing to ride. You need to be paying attention, but it definitely isn't difficult. Speed control is a breeze. I can match pace with an elderly couple on the sidewalk or cover the five kilometers from home to my badminton gym in less time than Google Maps estimates for a bike and braking on the rare occasions that you need to since the resistance from the drive wheel makes it pretty hard to get out of control works surprisingly well, whether you're on a flat or on a fairly steep incline. Now, 
I found the rated max speed of 29 kilometers per hour didn't happen often unless I was on a bit of a downhill slope, but on my fastest kilometer riding around where I live, I averaged 22 kilometers an hour, which considering I was a third of the way through the battery and in a hilly area, that's pretty damn fast. It's not quite what I expected, but I'm still extremely happy with the experience, which leads us to range. This is where the Z-Board blew me out of the water. I managed to do 29 kilometers, including stopping, starting, up and down hills, and lots of general fooling around. It's rated at 32 kilometers on flats and a mere 20 kilometers in the city. Not the case from my experience at all. I don't know what kind of city they were going around in when they got only 20 kilometers out of it. So that was when the Z-Board became a much more justifiable purchase to me. Dropping this kind of money on a toy is out of the question for me. If it's an electric vehicle that can be used as a legitimate form of transportation that also happens to be really friggin' cool, then that's another ball game. So in conclusion, I'd rather have a hoverboard. But if I can't have that, I'll definitely settle for a Z-board. I love this thing, I'm gonna use it all the time, but none of the options are cheap enough to be impulse buys, so you'll definitely need to think about whether it makes any sense for you. There are a few things that might help though. So number one is the 30-day return policy. So for a $50 restocking fee, they'll send you a shipping label back and you can just send your Z-board back if you're not happy with it for the rest of your refund. Number two is how well they've supported their products so far. It's easy for these Kickstarter companies to deliver the first product to their backers, then move on to bigger and better things and forget about those guys. Intuitive Motion has provided solid support in terms of replacement parts and by even managing to make the original Z-Board upgradable to their new models at prices that I don't think make their first customers feel ripped off. And then number three is that they're actually offering Linus Tech Tips viewers $100 off any Z-Board with offer code LINUS. Full disclosure on the deal guys, I have no advertising relationship with Intuitive Motion and I get no commission or any other kind of incentive if you buy one. I just think it's a great product. I figured a small savings might take some of the sting out. So I reached out asking for an offer code and they sent one. So check that out. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment and let me know. Are, were you happy to see us kind of break out of our usual, you know, computer hardware or at least remotely connected consumer electronics and do something that's completely different and like outside under the sun or would you rather we just you know stick with computer stuff i'd love to hear your feedback um in the video description guys you'll find the usual stuff including the support us link where you can give us a monthly contribution if you love our content you can buy a cool t-shirt like this one and you can change your amazon bookmark to one with our affiliate code so we get a small kickback whenever you buy new dentures i think people probably don't buy dentures on amazon you know I wouldn't be surprised if Amazon has dentures. Let's say reading glasses. Same theme. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.